Hi friends, Nicole Carter here from BHS Wellness. We're gonna go through a quick chair yoga sequence. And this is really great if you're a beginner to yoga or if you have a sedentary lifestyle, you're at your desk a lot. This is really great to get into some stretches and, and use the chair because it's a really great tool and prop to have. So starting with your feet planted on the floor, just bring yourself slightly away from the back of your back end of the chair. And go ahead and bring your hands to your lap. They can be cupped or just grounding down. And close the eyes if that feels comfortable or just an easy gaze down. Allow a little lift of your heart lengthening through the crown of the neck, getting taller with your spine as you breathe in. And then breathing out, feeling your feet ground in towards the floor. Allowing the body to settle, to pause. Allowing the mind to drop in. Maybe it's been a, a busy day, lots to do on the agenda. Whether you're coming into this practice in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, just noticing how the body feels in time and space right now, in the present moment. Let's go ahead and take a few more centering breaths in and out. And just noticing where the breath lands in your body. Not trying to fix the breath or manipulate it, just observing where it's fluttering to. Softening any areas of tightness tension, breathing in, and breathing out. On your next inhale, start to open your eyes. Take a sweep up with your arms up to the sky on your in-breath. And then exhale, hands are going to come in towards heart center. And I'm just going to push back a little bit to get in frame. Let's take two more of those. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Big sun breath in. And exhale, hands come in towards heart center. Inhale, sweep up. Feel your pinky thighs, inner arm bones rotate in towards one another. And then exhale, hands move to heart center. From here, bring your arms down by your side. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. And go ahead and just cup over your left ear as you gently start to tilt your head towards your right shoulder. And you can stay here with this left arm just dangling or turn it into a flex position. Imagine you're pushing down to stretch the left side of the neck, relax your shoulder, take a deep breath in and out. One more, breathing in and out. And keeping that head tilted over to the right, just release your right arm. Go ahead and just roll your head as you relax your left hand, chin to chest, maybe give it a little shake. Circle that left ear to the left shoulder. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Cupping over the right ear as you gently start to drift the head a little closer towards your left shoulder. Right arm can dangle or flexing through the palm. Deep breath in and out. Breathing in and let it go. 
Release your left arm first. Bring your chin to your chest. And then coming into a nice, easy, comfortable head, neck roll, circling back. Chin to chest and then drift into the other direction. Beautiful. And then come back to a neutral neck, lifting the head. Bring your hands to your knees. We're going to go into a seated cat and cow. You're going to take a breath in as you send your pelvic bowl chest forward. Lift through your heart. And then round your back, chin to chest. Press down into the feet. Inhale as you lift your heart. Come on through, moving into the cat. Gentle on the neck. And round. Feeling the pubis bone draw up towards your belly button. Let's take one more. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral position, lift your head. Sweep your arms up to the sky on your in-breath. And then on your exhale, you're going to come into a forward fold. Maybe grab onto your ankles. Just allow your head to release anything beneath. Press down into your feet as you reach your arms up to the sky. Hands come up and clasp, moving into heart center. We'll take two more of those forward folds. Inhale as you sweep your arms up. Exhale as you fold, head in between your knees. Just allow the belly to relax. Press into the feet as you reach your arms up. Hands come into heart center. One more. Reach up to the sky. Long side weight. Exhale as you dive in, fold, breathe out. From here, walking your hands up to your quads, ripple up through your spine. So good. And then go ahead and curl your right knee, interlace around the knee and towards the chest. You might need to heel toe your left foot in a little bit closer, just pulling that knee in towards your midline. Maybe roll through that right ankle, switching directions, getting into a little psoas stretch here, and then scoop your hands underneath your right thigh as you kick out your right leg, and it's hovering off of the chair. So there's a little bit of landing, but for the most part, you're extending that right leg. Just feeling a little kick. Chest will open. Take a breath in. And out. One more breathing in. And out. And go ahead and just release your right foot down. Release that interlace. Scoop your left knee in towards your chest. Roll through that left ankle. Switch it out. And you can do this with no shoes on. I've got like little mini boots on. Go ahead and interlace under your thigh as you kick out your left leg. Take a deep breath in. And out. And begin to bend your left knee down, plant your foot. You're going to open your knees and legs out wide, a little external rotation. And you don't have to go super wide, especially if you've got arms on your chair. You can just come more in like a, like a little football stance, wide second, goddess pose. Weight is bearing into the outer edges of the feet, outer thighs. You're going to bring your hands to your knees and then just drape your chest forward. And then you'll tilt your right shoulder down as you look towards your left shoulder. Breathing in. Breathing out. Press 
press your hands into your quads as you come all the way up. Slowly dip the chest down as you bring that left shoulder down. Look towards your right. Take a deep breath in. And out. Go ahead and press once again in towards your quads. Bring your hands down in front of you. You're going to find an interlace here, extending the knuckles down. And then reach your arms up to the sky. A little bend of your elbows if you need to. Coming into a little stretch over to the right. See if you can really press into that left foot so you're not lifting the hip. We want to stay grounded. Both sit bones into the chair. And this doesn't have to go way over to the right side. Just a little hip. If you can pull your arm bones back into space. A lot of heat and fire with these side lateral stretches. Come on up, breathe in. Take it over to the left, breathe out. Breathing in. Ah, and out. And come on up through center release your arms down. And for here, we're just going to wiggle out through the chest and the shoulder, the ribs, just getting a little bit of circulation in the torso. You can move into that like cat and cow. Really great movements for the spine, everybody. And we'll let that go slowly, carefully. You'll feel your feet back underneath your knees. And go ahead and kick your right leg up in front of you. And then bring that right foot over your left thigh, coming into this figure four shape. And you can definitely, certainly feel here as we get into this hip stretch, outer hip. Or you can start to hinge forward. Oof, you can feel it. Right, and you don't have to go all the way down, but if you want to, you can bring your arms down, maybe even your forearms, kind of a little pressure as you draw the forearms into your shin, chin into your elbows. Take a breath. Exhale out. Let's take one more. This is such a great stretch. Such a good one. Come on up very carefully. And you're going to go ahead and just kick out your right leg. See if you can keep it hovering. If not, it's okay. You'll bring your left hand to your outer thigh. You can always release that right foot down. And then bring your right arm. Just take a little twist. Send it to the back. So option one or option two, foot down. Maybe even turn the gaze, look towards your right shoulder. Breathe in. And out. If your leg is extended, plant that right foot down. And just come on back through center and cross your arms. Kicking out your left leg, cross it over your right why? I've got my flower socks on. <laughs> Noticing the difference on your left side. Feel free to hinge forward. Generally, we're tighter on the left side. More action activation with our right side. We're dominant in our right side also. You drive with your right foot, you make the pedal, unless you have a stick shift. <laughs> but you're pressing a lot, right, in that foot and getting that stretch throughout the entire leg. So move all the way up to the hip. It's all connected. Foot to leg to hip. Let's take another breath. Exhale. And begin to roll up through your spine, kick out your left leg, foot can plant on the ground, bringing your left hand to the outer thigh by your IT band, 
and then reach that left arm across the body towards the back of the space. Take a breath in and out. Maybe look towards your left hand. Let's take one more. Exhale out. Left foot plants. Go ahead and just bring your hands to your lap once again. We'll take a closing breath in and out. Circling feelings of gratitude, of kindness for your body, for where you're at physically, emotionally, and spiritually. May we all continue to grow. Deep breath in. And out. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.